Welcome to A and M Awesome Animals. Today we'll be traveling to Croatia, and we'll be talking about the Dalmatian. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. Originating as a hunting dog, it was also used as a carriage dog in its early days. The origins of this breed can be traced back to Croatia and its historical region of Dalmatia. It is thought that early ancestors of the breed were certain breeds of pointers and a spotted Great Dane. People have put Dalmatians to work as hunting dogs, draft dogs, shepherds, and guard dogs. But perhaps most notable was their debut on stage and in the circus. Their distinctive appearance and retentive memory made them natural performers, and Dalmatians clowned and performed tricks to the delight of their audiences. Dalmatians are highly energetic, playful, and sensitive dogs. These dogs are intelligent, can be well trained, and make good watchdogs. Some Dalmatians can be reserved with strangers and aggressive towards other dogs. Others are timid if they are not well socialized, and yet others can be high strung. Males are about 23 inches tall, and females are about 22 inches tall. Both weigh about 45 to 60 pounds. The Dalmatian is a graceful, medium-sized dog with a sleek, muscular body. Dalmatians are susceptible to bacterial and viral infections, the same ones that all dogs can get, such as parvo, rabies, and distemper. Many of these infections are preventable through vaccination, which will be recommended by your vet. Dalmatian puppies don't have any spots when they're born. Instead, they are all born all white and get spots as they get older. Their spots start to develop around two to three weeks old. By the time Dalmatian puppies are four weeks old, most of their spots will be present, but they will continue to slowly develop spots as they grow and throughout the rest of their lives. Throughout the years, the doll has had quite a few different nicknames, including the firehouse dog, the English coach dog, the spotted coach dog, the carriage dog, and others. They've even been referred to as the plum pudding dog because their distinctive spots remind people of traditional spotted dessert. Similar to fingerprints or a snowflake, a doll's spots are one of a kind. No two Dalmatians have the same pattern or number of spots. This breed is well known for its piebald pattern, spotted color on white. Dalmatians commonly have black or liver-colored spots on a white coat, but sometimes these spots can be brindle, blue, orange, or lemon. Their spots cover their entire body, even in their mouth. Unfortunately, about 30% of Dalmatians are deaf or having a hearing impairment. It's believed the genes that provide dolls with their coat are to blame for their deafness. The genes that cause their spots can lead to a lack of mature melanocytes, which are melanin-producing cells in the inner ear. Many people were introduced to the doll because of the movie 101 Dalmatians. Unfortunately, there was a downside to these popular films. After the movie, many people went out and bought a Dalmatian without doing proper research, which resulted in many dolls in shelters after their owners realized the responsibility of having an energetic dog so that needed a lot of attention and training. Since 1950, the Dalmatians have served as a mascot and companion to the Budweiser Clydesdale team. Historically, the dogs would guard the wagon and protect the team while the driver went inside to make deliveries. When the team performs today, the doll sit on the wagon next to the driver. The Dalmatian was the only breed that was bred to be a coach dog. They would run alongside carriages, protecting the horses from stray dogs and keeping the horses calm. They also acted as a guard dog, providing security at stops and alerting the driver of any approaching dangers. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye.